Alrighty, guys, you know what? I'm all ready. Screw that. Screw waiting for it. What's going on, guys? How are we doing tonight? What's up, everybody? I'm going to stop the cheesy music right there and say hello, beautiful people. What's going on, guys? Let's see who's in the chat right now. Boom, 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 boom. The first thing I see is an ad. Of course. Of course, of course. What's up, guys? How are we doing? So shout out to World Class Douchebag, VO2, Max Vegan, Kanan, low subscriber right there, Jamel, man, David, I've seen you in here before. How are we doing, guys? Shout out to 69 people right now. I don't think I've seen this starting, this many starting uh, uh, viewers in quite a while. So shout out to all you guys. How are we doing tonight? Hopefully well. I've asked you how you've been doing probably about 4,000 times now. So. Um, yeah, that would be, uh, yeah, it's usual, it's usual. Um, hopefully everybody's doing well. Uh, unfortunately guys, I want to, um, let everybody know that, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to let you guys down, um, the live stream tonight. I just wanted to kind of just say hi to you guys and, um, really hopefully just wanted to see how everybody was doing, but I, can't do a live stream tonight, unfortunately, uh, for, uh, I just wanted to pop on and say hi to my subscribers. So, um, that being said, um, thanks guys for tuning into the live stream. Hope you guys, uh, have a really good weekend. Um, but yeah, unfortunately just it's not going to work out tonight. So uh, I'm going to leave you guys with, uh, what I'm having for dinner. And then after that, I'm going to have to, um, um, say goodbye to you guys. So sorry about that. Sorry about, uh, getting you guys amped up and everything for the live stream, but um, just kidding. I told you guys so hard. That was actually really bad. Uh, that was actually a horrible. I've done better trolls before on you guys, but that was. I you have to admit, guys. I did get some of you. I did get some of you. So um, yes, I am wearing. This is actually the first time that um, well, in a long time that I'm wearing a sleeveless tank, but. I had to. I saw. I saw my event sevenfold. I was like, you know what? Why not? So shout out to event sevenfold. Shout out to everybody that listens to event sevenfold still, because event sevenfold is fucking awesome. I don't care what anybody says. I don't care how many people comment. Uh, ask me, do you even lift? Because you're wearing a tank top. So scroll the haters. I let haters be my motivators. How about that? How about that, guys? Uh, you know what else is up is the fact that I made a bomb flatbread tonight so we're not calling this pizza we're calling this flatbread this is a garlic yes garlic parmesan flatbread you guys will have to wait to the you know next vlog before you guys get to see that recipe and then of course doing these grill strips lately so you guys will see those is are bomb no it's not chicken and then the usual oh. And no, there's no orange chicken. There's no orange chicken. Yeah, check out that tan though. You guys know I've been riding. You guys know I've been riding. Um, yeah, so who's in the chat? Who's in the chat? Who is in the chat? Who is in the chat? Uh, smash it looks delicious. Haters are everyone's motivators, true. Um, what's up with the vegan situation you never committed or what? I suggest you watch more videos of mine, sir. Um, flex your muscles, Eric. Don't know about that, sir. Don't know about that. Um, yeah. And I have no bleeding uh, legs tonight for you guys. If you guys tuned into the last live stream, you guys would see or did see that uh, I'm not the best leg shaver. We'll put it that way. I'm not the best shaver of legs. Granted, I am a uh, I man, so it's common. But I know men that are very good at shaving their legs. So that's just pure ignorance on my part, but it is what it is. Um, Eric, are you good at essays? Yo, what up, essay? Um, that was a horrible joke. 
probably gonna get stabbed now. Um, yes, but I'm actually writing one tonight, so I'm starting to write one tonight. I procrastinated way too long on it, which I should have done at all, but just been getting slammed. I had to make that trip up to Oregon, um, so I had to put out a lot of homework. But today was my first day back at work, so. Um, uh, VO2 Max Vegan has a question about biking, but it involves calories, so Eric's probably not going to answer it. Don't know why you think that. I answer all questions, especially if they're from loyal subscribers, so feel free to ask away. Um, I don't get too technical or anything like that, just because that's not what riding is about, for recreational riders at least. So, um, yeah. But it is what it is. It is what it is. Uh, what else am I talking about? What am I doing? Uh, what did I just want to show you guys? Uh, yes, so I've done, I've reviewed this in the past. This is going to be my next. Well, actually, I'm not going to be reviewing this. Um, but because I've already reviewed this already. So um, that's going to be in the next vlog. What else is going to be in the next vlog? Or just not tell you guys at all. What am I? Shout out to Gertie. Oh my god, these are better than normal fish sticks. Yes, yes, it's fish sticks, not fish dicks, people. Fish sticks. Give these a shot if you haven't tried them already. They're delicious. Um, other than that, I don't even know what else I'm doing. Or eating, I should say. Um, anything that's not orange chicken, let's put it that way. Let's put it that way, people. Not that orange chicken isn't delicious, but eating uh, seven pounds of various different types of chicken can get a little, uh, could be a little much, let me just put it that way. Let me just put it that way. Um, lemon chicken, disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. So, absolutely freaking disgusting. Um, yeah, but it was worth thirteen hundred dollars. Uh, how accurate are the calories burned counting on bikes? Uh, not very accurate. Not very accurate. So we have live stream. Shout out to everybody on the live stream. So we have uh, Sophia, seen your name before. Um, World class douchebag. VO2 Max Vegan, um, a lot of different new subscribers as well. We have 85 viewers starting off at, so everybody say hello. You're on camera right now. Boom. So, Fernando, I've seen you before. Owen, um, Hanan Mansour, so, boom. And shout out to Chelsea Lips. I saw her name in there too. So, Chelsea's in the channel right now. And of course, what do we do every single time we make, well, I do this every time I make pizza as well, but we made flatbread tonight, so we'll be trying out the whole wheat. Yes, it's whole wheat, so it means you can make as much of it and eat as much of it as you want. Garlic, Parmesan, flatbread. Try it. I can't say pizza gasm because it's not really a pizza, but it's pretty goddamn good. Pretty goddamn good. Bam. Bam. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. Um, yes, yeah, so what I wanted to... Um, Hey, Chelsea, hi, douchebag. Chelsea's calling me a douchebag right now. That's not nice. Just kidding. I'm sure you're referring to the uh, world-class douchebag of all of the douchebags. Um, so that challenge was insane on so many different levels. If I want to be a competitive eater, what's the first step I should do? Um, the first thing you should literally do is go out and buy like 
a 24 pack of hot dogs and set them on your kitchen table and um, take a giant picture of all of them in front of you so you can get the Instagram picture to show all of your friends and tell them you're a competitive eater and then uh, contemplate eating them. I say contemplate because I hate hot dogs and I think they're disgusting. So, uh, What do meat sweats feel like? They feel exactly like they sound. They feel like meat sweats. What does your stomach feel like after the challenge? Not horrible. It's definitely felt worse before. When am I going to do the Rock Rockley Challenge? I did see Vegan Gains posted that. I commented on that video, but didn't watch it yet, and I, I giggled at him, so he might just make a worst of the fitness industry, Eric the Electric, but I'm not. my channel's not big enough for that yet. So, um, not big enough yet. My take on fish oils and mental health? I have no take on that. No take at all. Um, yeah, but anyways, I suppose, or what was, what was I talking about? Um, Eric, do you ever get full? No, unfortunately not. <laughs> yeah, so I'm never, ever, 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 and I just want to start the live stream by saying this, I will never drive that much ever again in my life. Ever again. So, the furthest I've ever driven in my entire life was from here to LA, and that's probably a good two and a half hours. So two and a half hours, I go from that to 15 and a half hour, one, one way there, 15 and a half hours. Absolutely horrible. I'm thinking that it's going to be, you know, I'll put some podcasts on, which I did. And I was like, yeah, fuck flying. I'm never going to fly there. I have aviophobia. I'm scared of airplanes, which is true. I don't. I am very very scared of airplanes. Um. So I'm like, yeah, I'm not gonna do that. Um. Going up there, I left here at eight thirty at night. I found myself crossing the Oregon State border, probably. I was at, I think I crossed the state border or state line at probably like six in the morning. And I'm telling everybody on the live stream this. Everybody on the live stream is going to get the exclusive dirt about what actually happened. I'll probably re reveal this and um, probably, I don't know if I ever do in a vlog, but. What's more effective, biking or running? I don't, people don't, Eric, E-R-I-C-K? E I'm not sure if I should get offended by that. Nah, whatever. Um, I know you haven't been on the channel long if you've been asking, or if you ask me what's more effective, biking or running. No hate or anything. Um, anyways, like I was starting to say, I was, it was 6 a.m., in the morning and I fell asleep at the wheel and this was after me taking two sleep breaks pulled over and slept at about 3 in the morning then pulled over again and slept at about 5 in the morning I dozed off I shouldn't say I fell asleep I dozed off at the wheel and I veered off into the other lane and dinged, I didn't hit, I dinged a minivan. So right now I have 
a Mazda with a kind of a dent in it. I'm gonna say kind of a dent in it. And I had a minivan, so it was somebody that was on his way to a meeting or something like that, but so I have that. That happened to me. So right then and there, I'm like, man, I better fucking really just, I better get all this money. I better, if I go up to Oregon, I show up, pay 30 bucks, and I fail a food challenge that has a $1,300 payout, I'm going to be so pissed. So right then and there, um, right then and there, I knew I had to do it. I had to just put my balls to the wall, or go balls to the wall. Um... Um, how to do it, how to do this challenge. And it's one of those things, like, in Oregon, where I was driving, there are so many, like, winds and turns, and it's all mountains. And the, guy, the guy in the minivan is okay. I just kind of said he was fine. Um, but, yeah, don't get me wrong. That was, like, the first thing that I did. I got out of the car, and I was like, holy fuck, dude. I didn't really say that. And I go... Are you okay? Like my, I just want to make sure you're fine. He's like, yeah. Are you okay? I'm like, I honestly, man, I I dozed off and I veered into your lane. Like I was straight up, like. So I told him about it. He's like, you know what? Next time you should really pull over and sleep. And I'm like, dude. I'm like, brother, listen, I've done that twice already. I, again, I didn't say it like that. I was like, sir, I I did it twice already. Um, I'm driving up here overnight from San Diego, and he's like, oh well. They, you know, watch my driver's license and all the good insurance info. So, that happened. Um, luckily, I'd, I've never been in an accident like that before. But, so that's going to be fun having to deal with insurance. Um, the only other time I've ever had anything like this happen before was well to my car really so i live in my apartment complex and my, my girlfriend or ex-girlfriend used to live with me um we had one parking spot and it was like i think the apartment complex wanted to charge us like 85 fucking dollars a month to get another spot we're like it was bullshit and we have no visitor spots and so i gave her the spot the space that's directly in front of my apartment we live in a <clears throat> we live in a third story so I gave her that spot right there. Your insurance may go up after the accident. <laughs> That's the way it works. Insurance goes up. Anyways, I gave her the spot <clears throat> so she didn't have to walk anywhere. She would literally just go to class, be right there, boom, come up. And um, so I love how people are already saying how much money it's going to cost, like, like specific numbers, and they haven't even seen anything about my car. Um, anyway, so I gave her the spot and everything, and then I had to park across the street in another uh, community, essentially, and I walked probably about a quarter mile every single night after work with groceries, with my bike on my back, with everything, which just because I wanted her to have a more convenient spot. So I would park across the street, and um, I get a call one morning from uh, my um, – from this cop that's like, yeah, is this um, Eric so-and-so? I'm like, yeah. He's like, um, were you involved in a collision last night? And I'm like, god damn it, what the fuck happened? And he's like, yeah, you gotta come check out your car. So I walk across the street, and my car is fucking plowed into a Mercedes. It's directly into a like $60,000 Mercedes. I'm like, fucking A, dude. There's a dent in front on my, on the front of my car. There's a dent in the back of my car. And so the cop looks at me. He looks at me and he's like, "So uh, you want to tell me where you were last night?" And I'm like, um, "In my apartment." <laughs> like I have my work clothes on, I'm ready to go to work. And he's like, "Do you have any proof of that?" And I'm like, the "Fuck, you want proof for, bro?" Like <laughs> I literally have the most. Like back then too, I literally would wake up go to work, come home, which is essentially what I do now. I'm like, I, 
I went home and got, I mean, last night I can show you my groceries that I got at like eight at night. He's just like, well, you know, we need to prove that blah, blah, blah. And so the long story short, the neighbors, what happened was some douchebag college dude was drunk off his ass run, running around. He hits the back of my car, then my car plows into Mercedes and um, pretty much fucks up the Mercedes. And so the Mercedes is like, oh, the guy was probably drunk and, you know, driving everywhere. So he thought I was drunk, then plowed in the Mercedes. Like, but who would be stupid enough to hit a, hit a car and then go back to their apartment, leave it there, and then answer a call, go back the next morning and be like, hey, oh, cool, that's my car. It's like, are you stupid? Who would fucking do that in the right line? So, um, yeah. We'll start turns it there. Um, so I got that fixed and everything like that. So now the other thing that I'm never doing ever again, apart from driving that far, is well, I can't really say I'm never doing this again because I have to drive. But so it's I do the challenge. It's one in the afternoon. I start my way driving back. My like, yeah, it's gonna be 15 hours. I'm good if I get home by 4.45 in the morning. I'll be like, okay, whatever, that's fine. I find myself, it's like two, three in the morning and I'm like, fuck, like, I need to sleep. I pull over to a rest stop and I'm a little bit outside of LA and it's like five in the morning and I wake up and I'm like, oh shit, because I usually, I took sleep breaks that were like 30 minute intervals. I slept for two hours. And so I'm like, shit, I need to be LA traffic. I sh like just slam on my gas, my gas going out of this rest stop. And there's a radar cop guns me right there. So guess who got in an accident? And guess who got a fucking speeding ticket? I'm like, this just keeps adding up and adding up and adding up and adding up. The cop clocks me in <clears throat> at over 100, uh, 100 miles an hour. It's like, I can't get a fucking break. That one was completely my fault. Well, so was the first one, but. Um, yeah, guys, I'm just glad that, again, I did this fucking challenge. But this was the trip from hell. It literally was a trip from hell, it felt like. I love how people are laughing at me. I'm waiting for all the laughter to die down. Everyone's just silently laughing at me. So guys, long story short, Fuck cars, ride bikes. Granted, I'd never ride my bike up to Oregon. I'm never even going to Oregon again. Even if there's like a tw like a twenty thousand dollar actually no for twenty thousand dollar food challenge, I go to Oregon. So should have got a hotel with the winning money. That's the other factor to it as well. Um, a, I didn't know. If I was going to actually win, because what I would have done ideally is fly up there if I wasn't such a pussy and could actually get on an airplane. I'd fly up there, get a hotel, do the challenge, and then come back. After that, after the rent a car, after the hotel, the flight, it would have cost me like 800 bucks. So it's like, all in all, after everything is over, it's going to be, it's debatable, but it's going to be around the same price as it would be as if I flew with all the insurance and everything like that. Um, holy shit. Monsters University? So Monsters Inc. Maybe it's a sequel to Monsters Inc. That was fucking crazy. I never knew they had that. Um, so yeah. When I start being afraid of flying, 
Um, Eric, show me, show me your quads. You got to your traffic ticket. Next time I should. I mean, you should be like, bro, do you even quads? Now, and you guys see, see how pristine this is, the shave job right here? Boom. It still looks like shit, but, you know, it is what it is. Those tan lines, though. That's my subtle uh, brag to everybody. I'm, I'm secretly just bragging when I'm doing that. I'm boasting. I'm boasting. Um, I already have people asking me when the next challenge is going to be, which is pretty, it's pretty humorous. I put it that way. Um, wow, I feel like so behind right now. The sequel came out in 2013. Shit. I don't go and watch movies, guys. Like, if I watch movies, they're documentaries, and they're like super old. So, um, I guess I have pretty bad tan lines. Eric with the CK, what's your deadlift max? Guys, not to be a dick or anything, but I'm actually, th I'm thinking about that. I'm more offended by the CKs. So, would I ever do a challenge with Mart Stoney? <laughs> That's the first time I've ever said that. Who's Mart Stoney? <laughs> you know, cost douchebag is with me. Like, who, who is Mart Stoney? Is he just some random dude who likes to eat corn? Mart? It reminds me of uh, the name Bart. Mart! Get your ass in the kitchen, Mart. Mart? I guess it's short for Marty. But, like, no one's fucking named Marty. Oh, Chelsea. Oh, Chelsea. Chelsea spelled my name with the CK. That's gonna, that's gonna, that's gonna get me. And someone, oh, speaking of spelling, Eric, which, Eric with this uh, QC. What's your major? Where do you live? You're a good troll, sir. You are a good troll. QC. QC? Oh, yeah. By the way, guys, if you haven't tried this already, most of you probably have. But shout out to Bolt House Farms. Oh, they do it right. They do it right. Ranch. I would say that this or the cedar dressing is a game changer. Absolute game changer. They changed the game. I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm gonna spell Chelsea with the uh, uh, why. I'm sure you could, that, that probably pisses you off a lot. Rachel T. Mart is the number one competitive eater. His name is Matt Stoney. Just, I'm gonna be completely serious right now and save the embarrassment. Um, um, <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing anymore, guys. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's pretty much where I'm at. I'm just glad, guys, I'm home. I'm so glad I'm home. So glad I'm eating something that's not orange chicken anymore. Um, <laughs> The challenge itself was pretty cool. I got into the place, got, I got there at like 10.45 in the morning. So, got there right when it opened. So naturally, being a restaurant, they're gonna hate me already. I walk into the place and there's the Lucky Seven Challenge right on the wall. Right on the wall. And when I show up and do these things, especially, especially if it's a $1,300 payout, um, I, I try to be like low-key with my camera and everything. So, you know, they don't suspect anything, but I had it in my backpack and everything. But I need to figure out a solution to the backpack thing. Like who walks in to do food challenges? the backpack. Just have all my shit in there. Um, um, did I eat anything on the way up? Oh, you gotta watch the video because it's like right there in the first four minutes. Um, walk in there and she's like, 
You wait now. You wait now. I'm like, um, okay, that's an interesting way to greet customers, but that's fine. I didn't say, I, I thought that I didn't say that to her. I'm like, okay, cool, whatever. So I wait in the front. I want to see you cook a proper meal. Could this meal get any more proper? The fuck's that supposed to mean? Just kidding. Um, but anyways, she's like, you wait now. And I'm like, okay, whatever. Couple minutes pass. And she's like, what do you want? And I'm like, the fuck? Like, I've never been in, like, this type of, like, I've been in rude environments before, but I was, like, blown away. I was just, like, um, here to eat? I've been to a few Chinese places that are kind of like that. I'm not going to stereotype right now, but um, been to a few Chinese places like that. And I've even gotten kicked out of a few buffets that are like that, but I've gotten kicked out for obvious reasons. Um, so I'm like, yeah, here to eat some food, essentially, like not in like a dick way. And she's like, okay, fine, seat yourself. And I start walking over to a table and she's like, not that one. I'm like, so me to fucking see myself. Like, really? And I'm like, oh, whatever, where, where do you want? I was like, ma'am, where do you want me to sit? In your ideal perfect world, in your restaurant of about, all of like nine different tables. Where do you, where would you where would you love me to sit? And she pointed me to a table and everything. And I go, I'm actually here to do the Lucky Seven Challenge. And she looks at me and she goes, like everyone always does. Looks me up and down. She goes, you know the rules, right? And I go, yes, I do. She's like, are you sure? I'm like, yes, I'm very sure. She's like, you get one hour. One hour, no bathroom break. And I'm like, okay. She's like, you pay for it. Even if you finish, you pay for it. And she kind of laughs after she says you finish. And so I'm like, okay, whatever. Um, she's like, you sure you want to do it? And I go, yeah. She goes, okay, fine. She turns around, goes to the one chef in the back with nobody in the restaurant. She goes, lucky seven times. Lucky seven challenge. And the guy, I could hear him go, it was so funny. Um, but yeah, Chelsea, it's, um, she, Chelsea, so everybody, uh, if you haven't seen Chelsea's comment, she says they you would have been scared if they wouldn't have paid out. Um, that's always in like big payout challenges. It's been a factor in a few of them. Um, but the fact of the matter is when you hype up a challenge like that and you have it on your wall, you have it on all the tables, lucky seven challenge, $1,300 jackpot. The fact that I have video evidence of me calling them and saying it's $1,300. Yes, it is. Boom. I, if I finish, do I get it? Boom. There it's all on camera. I can pretty much take them to take them before and be like, yo, I can be a real dick from now on. Um, But yeah, it was um that was my largest payout ever. Out of all the contests I've done, everything. So court certainly does blow, but it, if it's gonna get me probably even more money in the end to deal with uh, insurance and all that garbage. I'd more than happy to go to court. Which is saying something because usually I'm a guy that literally will just do what I need to do and get things over with, but how often was a challenge attempted? Uh, I would say probably a few hundred times, maybe a thousand times and I think like six or seven people have done it. Would you do Nathan's hot dog challenge? I don't know what that is.
You sure the check is going to clear LOL? Yep, pretty sure because it just did today. Now, guys, enough talking about the challenge. What I would like you guys to do right now, if you haven't, I haven't showed Snapchats on a live stream in probably about, I think, like two weeks now. I mean, on Snapchat. Eric, you'll watch her. And I will be showing your Snapchat. Because I'm such a nice guy. Come here and do the Philly Cheesesteak Challenge with Joey Chestnut. Sorry, that was just a huge. I'm a pretty big spelling Nazi, guys. Pretty big spelling challenge. Or spelling Nazi. Why did I just say spelling challenge? Um, it's every July 4th. That's a contest, not a challenge. But technically, it can be considered a challenge. Think about all the veggies and tofu you can buy with 1300 I wonder where this is going. Um, are there any vegan challenges for cash? Uh, not. Uh, I think there are like absolutely zero vegan challenges across the United States for obvious reasons. Uh, I know there's one in Europe, but... No one's going to really want to do a vegan challenge. Well, apart from vegans, but... Can I do every cheesecake on the Cheesecake Factory menu in one sitting? Um, I can certainly try. The thing about... Okay, so no joke. I'm going to let you guys know one of my challenges I'm considering doing. If I ever... Well, let me just say. I'm considering going into cheese, Cheesecake Factory and literally... I won't say order the entire menu, but I'm gonna order a shit ton of stuff and put it all in front. And because I have a new segment coming out on my channel, again, another exclusive to live stream, so you guys are checking it out. Um, or get seeing it first, I'll say. So, I'm gonna be doing a segment on my channel, and essentially, I'm gonna be trolling people at buffets or restaurants. But what I do. For example, is go to a buffet, find the biggest table, probably like the most crowded hour, and just literally go to the buffet and get probably like a dozen plates of just the biggest stuff you could possibly find and just eat it all in one in like the just nastiest way and watch obviously wear like my I love carb shirt. But um just seeing people's reactions and setting up my camera or camera with the uh, microphone so I can record people, record people's reactions. The only thing though is a liability. I don't know if it's um, in a public place if I'm able to do that or not. But wouldn't that be a pretty fucking funny thing to see? Because you guys know it's insane um, watching people's reactions. So all my lawyers or you know, people that know the laws can, attack, can answer that question for me. It's legal or not. It's probably not legal. Nothing's legal anymore. Um, so I have, how many Snapchats do I have? So I have one, two, three, four, five. I have a chat. Happy birthday to Lou. He wants me to wish her happy birthday or him happy birthday. Uh, Jack says, hey, I'm sure you got this a lot, but I'm a huge fan of your videos. It's a picture of a blanket. Liking your blanket, bro. Yes, Chelsea, I'm asking my internet legal team to do work for me. Gosh. Uh, Sinead Doyle. That's a picture of somebody after a wedding. Interesting. Um, I 
Hanan, cupcakes in you. Where's my cupcake at? Where is my fucking cupcake? Just kidding. Did I ever get sick of food? If I got sick of food, I would definitely not be eating food right now. Uh, Jamel, taking a piss while I watch the live stream. <laughs> it's good. It's one of my better Snapchats I've gotten, apart from the dick pictures and um, pictures of dog shit and real human shit. Uh, Soap DeVita says, congrats, online W, high five. Um, James Hart says, whatever happened to Chef Bob on bodybuilding.com? Ooh, mystery. I'd say 99% of you have no idea what the fuck that Snapchat was about. Um, yeah. What else? So, you guys can check that out. That looks bomb. There's just like those, there's, there's those, Bites of food that just look amazing, and this is one of them. This is one of them. No, dude, holy shit balls. That's a holy shit balls. Damn. Woo! I got like fresh garlic in that one. Jesus, mother of God. Oh my lord. Woo! Only I was recording that one. Damn. Um, Chelsea, I did not know you. I did not know that you knew about Chef Bob. So I guess I have to talk about Chef Bob. Chef Bob is a. You know, actually, I, I've shot him out in a few videos. Send me a few big goods. Chef Bob is uh, one of my boys. Um. His account on bodybuilding.com. Make sure I like good big stuff. He's also a sell you for rep representative. Long story short, he was just banned from bodybuilding.com. Um. Boom. Um, yeah, not much to, else to say about that. Why don't I try Indian food? It's gonna be really spicy. You know what, I'll try that when I do my, when I finally film that next segment of my series that I'll, I'll be doing, I'm gonna go to an Indian buffet. Indian buffet, I'm gonna get the most expensive shit. And that's the thing about all this stuff. If I go to a buffet or all you can eat place, I'm literally gonna line the table up with the most expensive stuff, like all protein, all fish, sushi. Um, yes, I'll be eating sushi. And I'm gonna be getting a lot of food. Let me just put it that way. So, you guys can use your imagination. You know what I want you guys to do is when this, this live stream gets posted, when I ask you guys to post your questions for tomorrow's Q&A, post up that suggestion. Which What place would you like me to go to? Um, but yeah, so guys, this is the point in the live stream where I let you guys know I answer a question, one question, it could be any question that's not political, um, having any, anything to do with sexual orientation or um, uh, how many calories I eat in a day, I hate that question. Um, I just always respond like a sarcastic douche, which I am. I am a sarcastic douche a lot of the time. Let me just be honest. Um, Eric, Eric, after we get married in Vegas, we can go to every buffet. <laughs> I wish there were pizza buffets near me. Uh, anyways, guys, so it's time for the last question. Um, 
I answer a question basically, and I give you a shout out, and um, yeah, it's pretty cool. It's always awesome. Always, always awesome. So, ask me that last question. I'm gonna be in suspense the entire time while I wait for that question to be asked. Suspense, suspense, let the suspense build, guys. Let the suspense build. Suspense, suspense, suspense. Suspense is intense. Like camping. Shout out to everybody that got that joke right there. If you didn't get that joke, think about it. Think about it, people. That's a fucking awesome joke. I don't care what anybody says. You can tell that joke to anybody, and they should giggle. They should laugh. They should call you a genius. They should call you a master. I mean, and of course, no one's asking questions. That's why you see me ramble on about just weird, random shit. I've been cussing a lot lately. I cussed a lot on this trip. Let me just say I did cuss a lot on this trip. The cop pulled me over. And normally, like if, it, if I have anything to do with police, I'm like, I'm always like really nervous. I'm very polite. Well, of course, I'm always polite. You guys know me. But I remember, like, at the top of my lungs in my car at 4.45 in the morning, I was like, fuck! I was so mad. So mad. But you know what? It happened. It was a learning experience. You learn and you move on. What's that saying? You live and you learn? It's always been such a cliche thing to say, but... So about those questions, guys. I'm wondering what you guys are going to ask me. How many calories do you eat in a day, Eric? I don't actually eat calories anymore. I just eat everything um, gluten-free, so therefore there are no calories if it's gluten-free. If it's gluten-free, I can eat three. <laughs> Holy shit, that was genius. Absolutely genius. Call me the genioso. That was horrible. Genioso. Genioso. Alrighty. Guys, stop making fun of my tan line, please. I'm just kidding. You can make fun of my tan line all you want. Opinions on garlic bread is I'm eating pretty much garlic bread right now. Fuck, that's good. Oh my god. Alright. So, let's see what we have here Kobe Ashi or Stoney. Would I see myself in five years? Get that one a lot. Mike Wazowski, what will you do when the Nazis take over? Uh, so many jokes I can make about that right now. Why am I talking to myself? I talk to myself all the time. And there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Actually, you know what? That's pretty good questions right now. 
Sugar makes you fat, bro. Do I have any grapes? Do my neighbors actually ask who I'm talking to? <laughs> no. So what is my live stream about? Live streams aren't about anything. Um, you know what? Are you a vegan slash vegetarian? All caps. I'm a vegan. I'm a vegan. I'm a vegetarian. Let that sink in for a second. Favorite top five pizza toppings? Um, coffee grounds. Um, coffee grounds. Skittles. I like Skittles. And um, buttons, like buttons, like shirt, shirt, like buttons you put on a shirt. Um, pennies, I like putting pennies on my pizza. And um, hair, I like hair. Hair goes really good on pizza. Oh, I just made myself cringe. Okay, so I'm gonna be serious right now. Um, I'm gonna answer two questions, and the first one's gonna be from World Class Douchebag. It says, "Were you you were able to help so many people and impact their lives? You were able to meet many new people and learn and grow as a person. So, is it a blessing or a curse?" Um, I'm trying to see if he's referring to. I'm just gonna assume you're referring to um, a battle plan, Arisia. Uh, and for that, I will say. Um, I will say that I can't really coin that as a blessing or a curse. Um, I will say that it got me to where I am today, and I like to think that I'm a better individual today um, than I would have been if I wouldn't have had an eating disorder. So that's a pretty straightforward answer to that question. I feel like my eating disorder got me to not only meet a lot of awesome people, but it made me realize a lot about myself. So... Granted, I would never, ever, ever wish an eating disorder on anybody. Because actually going through an eating disorder is not, I'm not going to even, I can't even say the word easy, pro, or I can't even say easy process. Because it's not even, I can't even just like think about that, but you guys know what I mean. Um, and the second one I want to answer is from Hanan Mansour who says, when you had an eating disorder, were you obsessed with food as well as fearing it? Did you constantly make food but didn't eat it? Um, a big, I don't know how to kind of address the last question, but a big misconception about people that have eating disorders is that they don't like food. Granted, a lot of anorexia, anorexics just food disgusts them, and um, that's kind of. Um, I mean, the thing about it is, um, the thing about it is, is that it's all based around obsession around food. But I would actually. Make a guess and say that most anorexics, though, um, actually love food. And a lot of people, um, no, I wasn't saying an eating disorder could be a blessing. I was re re reframing the question. Gosh, it's like I have to like get super specific with everything. Um. Anyways, see now you guys got me sidetracked. Um. So, what was I even saying? <laughs> yeah, anyways.
Now Montrose didn't get distracted me. No, but really though, I've always loved food. I mean, every every eating disorder is, is different. Um, and manifests itself in many different ways for me. I always loved food. Like I even even when I got was diagnosed with anorexia, I went through a lot of hard stages. I wanted to be in culinary school. I wanted to. Um, I wanted to do something with food, but then again, it's all a, it's all a fixation on food. That's essentially what it what it is, and that's why there's so many eating disorders within the fitness community. You guys see these IFYM videos, these um, day of eating videos, these um, you know getting so fixated and focused on um, the right type of carbs at the right type of times, um, cheat days, cheat meal videos, but constantly like these channels just so focused on all just doing that to appeal to. The fitness community on YouTube or in, in life be, is because they're um, essentially that's what the eating disorder is focused around is this fixation around food, um, and that's why there are a lot of undiagnosed eating disorders out there right now, and it's really sad to see, but no one's really going to admit it. So that's pretty much where I am with that. Um, but yeah, so pretty much. Long story short, a lot of people, a lot of anorexics and a lot of people with eating disorders secretly love food, but they're just scared to both eat and realize at the same time that food is, it can be viewed as normal. It's fine. You can indulge once in a while and you're not going to get fat. So that's pretty much my take on it, guys. Um, just my opinion. Um, so that's going to conclude the live stream, everybody. What I want you guys to do, like I was saying earlier, is go to when this video gets posted, when the webcast gets posted, let me know what you guys think of my idea and suggest a place you want me to go or an idea, additional idea. Tell me how you like my idea. Um, tell me what you want to see. Tell me what you want to see because I will do it. And I will give you a shout out for recommending it. Um, also, drop a question for the uh, Q and A Sunday Q and A down below for tomorrow. Other than that, guys, I'm out of here. Check out the last challenge if you haven't already, and stay tuned for the next challenge. Maybe, may it may just be coming next week. Love you guys. See you later. Peace out.